Hey guys, I hope you're all well. Um, it's been a while since I put my face in the video, but we've uh, reached 200 subscribers, which I know in the grand scheme of things isn't necessarily all that much, but you know, when you're at this level, you take every little milestone you sort of uh, greet, and I suppose 200 is the next one. Um, it's one we've been referring to for the last, well, I suppose last month or so, and I said once we reach 200, we will finally open up a package which has the shirt which takes the title of the most expensive shirt that I've ever purchased. Um, it's here. It's still here, not doing anything with it. Um, I hope the shirt I bought is in there because it's been about, what, five or six weeks? I'm pretty certain that's long past the uh, return period. So whatever is in there is mine and I'm stuck with it. Uh, it's quite an exciting shirt for many reasons. Uh, the, so the the club, the design, and um, what it represents, really. Um, but yeah, so I thought, let's celebrate 200, 201, if it is what it is, with, uh, with that shirt. Admittedly, it's only five pence more than my second uh, most expensive shirt, but it is what it is. Um, but that's it, I understand uh, that you're probably more interested in seeing the shirt, so... Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Right then, it's game time. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this for so long. Please be what I ordered. Right, now I'll go back now. Da -da -da -da, the seal has been broken. You, you're going to recognise this one straight away. So, standard. Do I get a card? Trading card or anything? We do. Who's it going to be? Da, da, da. Maldini! Do I have a Maldini? Maybe. Alright then. Looks like it's the one I ordered. Da, 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 da. Get rid of that. Can you tell what it is yet? Let's open it up, making as much noise as we possibly can. Hopefully when I get my new setup, which should be within the next sort of four weeks, I have a better process of doing this. Because as much as I find it easy to do these sort of bird's eye view-ish videos, they're not exactly the most educational slash entertaining. So hopefully when I get my office set up, I can do better videos and we'll see where it goes. But for now, it's going to be like this. Right then. Da -da -da, we have the tag. So, let's look at the back, see if anything has a uh, noticeable on the rear. What does that say? Da, 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 da. You're right. So, there's the design. For those of you who've got good eyesight, we'll see at the top it says Torpedo Moscow FC, which, um, well, they're from Moscow, obviously. So they're a Russian team, and they are one of the Moscow teams that I obviously haven't got. Um, I mean, even just for that, I would have bought this shirt, just because I'm, I don't know why I have a weird like and interest in um, sort of Russian and Eastern European football. So it's kind of cool to get one of those. Um, but the design, as you can see, it's like a tartan style, which of course is sort of synonymous with Scotland. Now, apparently when I've been reading about this shirt, there's, um, you know, there's that link, it says, oh, there's paying heritage to Scottish um, influence in the founding of the club. I tried to Google this. Uh, I, I couldn't really find any credible sources to back that up. Um, in fact, there's a Reddit post where someone says the same thing. They say, I don't understand. It's not like there was some Scottish people that founded the club or, you know, they played the first game against the Scottish club. Maybe it did, but I couldn't find that information. I suppose with it being in Russian, maybe it's on you know a Russian version, so yeah, that could be could be correct. But let's turn it over. Do -do 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 -do. Right, here then. So, some of you who have been following classic football shirts, or some of you who have been reading the sports news football shirt stuff. We'll probably have seen the shirt appear because quite clearly the uh, standout feature is the Stop COVID-19 sponsor, 
which is present on the front. So this shirt was um, used in a couple of friendlies by the club after the season was of course uh, cut short due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, so I can't remember who the sponsor was initially, but they of course replaced it with this um, quite agreeable motto of stop COVID-19. Um, uh, you've got the uh, sort of the virus in, in the O and the uh, strike through it. It's quite a powerful image really. Um, so of course it's like a special special edition shirt, um, which is nice as a collector. Um, the design is really cool. The club is really obscure. And of course it's Macron, so it's going to be a high quality uh, shirt. So the um, Macron logo is stitched, similar with the torpedo logo. The stop 19 is a heat transfer, same with the shoulders. On the uh, left sleeve, your right, there is a uh, a sponsor there which has been transferred heat transferred onto the uh, onto the sleeve um, it's a medium now when I fish in initially bought it there was a few mediums and then they sold out of everything but then they seem to have found some more stock um, unfortunately there's no medium from recording it there's a I think large maybe extra large maybe small and there is the home version which is a white uh, sort of white and grey and silver, I think. Same thing, stop the COVID-19 logo, special edition. And I think that may have a medium, but don't quote me on it. Uh, of course, it has the tag. It has the um, Torpedo 19 match day away shirt slim fit. Um, green and black, the uh, short sleeve senior, which is nice. Now, I suppose you probably want to know the price. If you've not been on classic football shirts, you probably won't know. But it was seventy nine ninety nine, which is pricey, but I think considering what it is, it's not a bad price, because to get them imported in, there's a cost. If it would be special edition, there's a cost. Yada yada yada. Um, it's five pence more expensive than my shirt that I bought from Iceland. Um, though I suppose if you include shipping, probably not. But outright, this one is. I'm really happy to own it. It's, um, I think it's going to be one of those shirts in a few years that people will be like, wow, you know, can you, hopefully we can look back and go, whoa, we, that's a crazy time. Um, I really hope it's not something that lasts, but who knows, eh? But that's it. That's my shirt. I have one more shirt to open, which is this one. That one's a new country, so that one's kind of cool. And I have one arriving in the post probably Friday, which is um, quite a rare one, actually. Uh, country of Ogre representation, but it's um, a shirt I've never seen appear for the club. So uh, we've got at least a couple more videos uh, coming. Um, but yeah, hopefully over the next uh, few weeks, we're going to see a little bit of improvement and the, uh, the content should be a little bit more interested. Uh, and you get to see my... Face, I guess a bit more makes it a bit more personal I guess I'll need to shave I suppose so at least cut my hair it's terrible isn't it but thank you again for watching thank you again for the 200 subscribers if you've not done it and you've just come across this or you just haven't yet go for it try it you know it's free and uh, yeah I will see you in the video uh, keep safe everybody